Guys, welcome back to Shifting the Gear. It's Baz and Paula, and what do we have? Another utility truck. This is the Navara. We've never done this before. Why haven't we done a Navara before? It's not, we've never had our hands on one. Luckily, we got our hands on the new STX. I actually love it. It's a nice car. And this one's actually quite special because it's got a sunroof. I know yes. many utility vehicles we've done. Actually, none. None. We've <laughs> never had any ute that has a sunroof. And it's factory. There's a factory sunroof. And the, the seats are pretty cool, but we'll show you through it, guys. And um, don't forget to share and like. And if you could subscribe too, guys, that'd be appreciated. But let's get into it. All right, let's go. Faz, what do you think about this big black truck, mate? Ooh, Why nice. are you admiring big black things? I'm not admiring big black things. I'm just admiring this. It looks great in black. Moving on. Let's have a look at the front. How cool are these headlights? Let me get close. Have you seen those Porsche Matrix style headlights? It kind of reminds you of that, eh? It does. If it was a circle and the Kind of fully, really nice look to it. I like the LED strips too. And um, yeah, the back, the front end here looks great. Got a bit of silver to break it up. I was gonna say the contrast with the two yeah. tone colors just suits white well. Yeah, big badge, you know, you've got the grill, which is actually quite functional. It doesn't look out of place, it just looks right. The proportions are great. Got the little foggies here on the side. They add a bit of width. And this the way you see with the body lines. So of coming in, they kind of give you a bit of width. If you do go for the Pro X, you do get the upgraded guards, which are a bit bigger. Uh, moving on to the wheels here too, Fads. We've got uh, these nice black and chrome finished wheels. They look good. Um, obviously, this is the um, STX, but if you do go for the Pro X, you do get different wheels. I think they're all black. I actually like the Pro X rims. The Pro X And, looks and they're all terrain tires that they have on them? Yeah, if you go for the Pro X, it does give you the extra fender flares and guards, and there's a bit of a red branding on the side here. Um, and they give you a decal on the rear fender as well. Moving on, come around, fads. 360 camera, that's something to note. So you've got a camera here, one on either side. Nice blacked out step panel. Pretty cool. I know you want to climb it, come on, Paula. That's it, you've got your chrome handles just to break up the blackness. <laughs> Cameras on the side, mirrors are there. Moving on, got the nice sports bar here. Pretty standard. If you do go once again to the Pro X model, you get like a nicer black one. Looks good. And you will have the extra fender flares here and there will be a nice decal here that says Pro X. You've probably seen them driving around. I like the color on them. Yeah, they look cool. And that only comes on, the, on that series too. Yeah, it does. And coming to the back, tailgate. It's not a soft open tailgate, but nonetheless, it's very light. You know. Oh wow, look at that. You've been working out, Paula. I don't want to brag. brag, mate. Come but... on, come on. Oh. <laughs> I don't want to brag, but yeah, I have been working out. Ladies, he's single. <laughs> You've got your sensors here. Pretty standard tow bar. I might be wrong, but I'm pretty sure they're standard in this model. Camera at the back. But yeah, plenty of space. We've got the tub liner too. And these little tow points, for which you can hook stuff to. These will come in handy. Basically, you just unscrew them and you move them oh, around. They're on a rail. Hmm? They're on a rail so you can move them around. Yeah, they're on a rail. You can move it. It's actually pretty handy if you think you're tightening things down. Let's Smart. say you've got a little fridge. There's little points everywhere in the tub. It's cool just in case you forgot. It's a Navara right here. It's actually got a lot of room. Yeah, it does. You know the only, the only bad thing about a utility vehicle? What? Where do you put your groceries? Put them in the front, mate. Put up there. Just check it out. The dimensions, Fats. So, um... Basically what you're looking at over here from here to here is about 18 51 millimeters and From the side of the tub to the other side of the tub. It's 15 60. So if you stretch your leg out, how, how does it look? So 15 60 from here to here <laughs> And 18 51 from here to here. Now will arches is about what 11 34? Yep 11 34 from here to here. Now if you crouch, it's about 470. Can you get to about 470? It's 470. I don't think that's fine. <laughs> that? right, Fads, tell us a bit about the interior here. Paula, it's such a Nissan interior. What do you reckon? Yeah, you know what? In a weird way, I get what you mean. It's such a Nissan interior. Like, it just looks like a Nissan. Even if you hit the badge, there's no way you, you know, wouldn't know it's a Nissan. The plastic like, all around the dash interior. Compared to the BT50 and the Ranger we've done, Isuzu. Yeah, the D-Max as well. Yeah, they, they had like a nice soft touch. But I think they pre they present themselves a bit more of like a luxury SUV, don't you reckon? Well, this is more of a utility vehicle yeah but in that sense if you're using it for work or for family it makes sense yeah this well, will be a bit more durable this is like um kind of reminds me of the hilux very practical just like a functional material 
Now, talking about basics, first thing you notice is the steering wheel. It's a basic steering wheel, but it's got everything you need. Bluetooth, cruise control. It's it's pretty standard, Polo. What do you reckon? Yeah, how does it feel in your hands? Like a steering wheel. <laughs> <laughs> has a firm grip? Like, does it, the material feel good? Yeah. Is it like a leather finish? It's more of a, it feels like more of a plastic feel. Okay. I'll cool. get you to feel when you're driving it. Yeah. But automatic lights, well, that's all pretty much standard. You've got your LCD screen at the front showing you your speed. I've got digital dash. Digital nice. dash. Pretty standard overall. You still got your analog bits on the left and right, and then the middle. I like that though. I, sometimes I like a bit of digital and also the analog. Yeah, full it mixes. Full digital displays kind of sometimes wig me out. Like, especially when it comes to actually the petrol gauge. That's when you know how much petrol you have. <laughs> you need that. You're actually low on that as well. A push start button just there for you. Uh, that's in the STX, I believe. Yep. Now also, what I like, a couple buttons, just speaking about it. If you turn around, you'll see there the back window. Ta-da! Oh, that's cool. That's, that's done with a the button. There you go. That's just actually a button. so sick. <laughs> I oh, know, it was magic. I just did it on my own, Polo. Close my eyes. Uh, now, tell us a bit about this dash. I mean, the you know, unit here. We've got Apple okay. CarPlay. It's, it's not the prettiest, but it does the job. It's got Apple CarPlay. It's got your Bluetooth. It's got your 360 reverse of camera as well. So everything there that all you need. I think it could have been a bit more clearer, to be honest. Uh, is that full brightness? That's full brightness. Okay, yeah, that's uh, cool. All right, so I reckon they could have done a bit better compared to some of the other vehicles that we've done and we've... They've been crystal clear. For example, like the BYD 360 camera. But keep in mind, Freddy, you're talking about an electric car with a utility vehicle. You can't compare the two, mate. Like oh, these no, cars the, are kind of meant to be bashed around. The Ranger, the Ranger had a pretty good camera system yeah. on it too. Right. But That's overall, cool. it is a basic car. Like yeah. these things set, set out from about 19, 59 and a half driveway. Yeah. Now this particular one does have a few upgrades. It does. Now we're going to talk about them. In this model here, you can see they're full leather seats. I actually like the design. How I actually like the design too. Now, the STX doesn't come standard with the leather. This particular model has the sunroof and leather seats. So, pri on. and price difference, which is not too bad, 2000 for approximately for the leather seats and then 1500 for a factory sunroof. Now, you don't see any utes with sunroof. Uh, out of all the utes we've done, I've never seen a ute with a sunroof. That's awesome. I, I actually yeah. prefer it. Yeah. Now, if you do go for, I think, the Pro X, um, it does give you the embroidered seats, but otherwise, I actually love the hexagonal kind of look there. Um, it's, it's awesome. I like it, the seats. It does a job. Heated seats, passenger and driver. Yep. Talking about that as well, driver only has electric seats. Uh, so you've got electric um, adjustment on the driver side, not passenger That's side. That's right. Also, four-wheel drive system. It is a two-wheel drive. You can drive around, save you the fuel. You can go into 4H or 4 low. Yeah, that's cool. All right. So pretty much this vehicle is made to go off-road. So you can mm. actually enjoy it on those family trips. Talking about something else with family trips, you can tow on this vehicle. It's about three and a half towing capacity. Three and a half ton. That's awesome. It's pretty pretty good. Yeah, that's and that's cool. braking. Remember, guys. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that's with electric brakes. <laughs> so we've got a USB at the front as well. And if you had, you know, the family back, there's a USB at the back here. But it's just a standard USB. But speaking about USBs, they've put one here, yeah, Paula? Yeah. But can I just say one thing? Where do you put your phone? Try and put it there. Look at this. Wait, can you put it in that? No. Do you, that? Have, do you have the max? See that? This is this is the max, but look at this. Yeah, okay. Okay. So Where, the only place holders. I can put it is in the cup holders. There, or I can put it in there, which is already packed out. <laughs> so as you can see, well, that's, a, that's the smallest glove box I've seen. <laughs> Center console, and this is your glove box. Tiny. Okay. It's they could have done a bit more with that. You know what I mean? Now, it does have cup holders everywhere. Center. The inside. back seats don't have cup holders on the door. Do they, they do. Yes, they yeah, do. they do. They do, yeah. Cup and on every door. where you're sitting in the middle, Polo, you've actually got cup holders there as well. That's cool. So there's cup holders everywhere. Um, just to let you know, for your coffee, it doesn't actually have the teeth. So. Oh, the things that hold them. The yeah. Hug, the cup. The people. teeth. Just to let you know. <laughs> That's another thing. Old school. It's still got a handbrake. Oh, that's good. Polar likes to drift. There you go, Polar. <laughs> right there you for you. The handbrake when you want to. That's cool. All right. All now, right, let's, what I'm going to do is show you the back. Let's, let's get to the back. Let's the back. All right. Polar, most important thing. If you're a child, you're cheering. If you're an adult, look at that. Oh, it's got like a perfectly shaved indent for your head, Fads. I know, but look look at my knees. Yeah. But... See what I mean? Yeah, yeah, I get you. You feel like you're really close to the but driver. Is that seat back? That seat is back to where you would be sitting. 
But look, it feels like I can touch the driver and the passenger. Like, look at this. It creates a sense of intimacy. You know, that's that's what Nissan are trying to do. What if you got kids and they grab you? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah they want to keep the family together. That's what it is. <laughs> now, speaking about kids, one more thing. You got your ISO fix. Can you see them? You got the ISO fix. You yep. got the USB at the back as well, Fads. Fantastic. And events. They've thought about everything that you might need, but for your actual tether to fit, you know, when you're clipping on. Yeah. Guess where it goes? Where? Guess. Above the head. Above the head. <laughs> <laughs> on the roof. Put your children on the roof, guys. You got to fit it through there. Oh, really? That's not secure. Odd. Oh, that's not easy. So, realistically speaking... The ISO our, fix will be the way to go. Because, you know, like with the other use that we've done, utility vehicles, yeah. they've gone right on the back. Yeah, yeah. You, you have can, to... The anchor points. Correct. You can actually anchor it. You have to th run it through that. Okay. Well, um, don't have any kids. God. Great One news. thing, I was actually looking at this, is what's the point in this? Like, what can that possibly do for you? That's an interesting. Apart from hold probably 20 cent 20. coins. <laughs> uh, well, there's a know? nice pouch here though. These are pretty spacious. I've got to say, I do like the actual seats. They look so nice. You're in love with these seats. The yeah. seats are so cool. That's it's all you've spoken about is the seats. I think you just like the pattern. Yeah, I like the pattern. I think that's all do, it is. do these fold forward? No, no. I look, lift oh, this up. there we are. Ta-da! And then, they've got, I've, I've noticed now every utility vehicle, yeah, okay. Has so they've got can the logbooks pull. there and, the and there's your jack. So guys, if you're wondering where your jack is, it's right there. <laughs> can I just say, the BT-15 and the Isuzu had like a very nice compartment there, remember? Yeah, and the Ranger, remember? You could yeah. have, we fit a sub, remember we put the yeah, sub put in? the subwoofer in the Ranger, there was yeah. enough. But you know, it's better than nothing. Yeah, it does the job. But I just wanted to show you that, guys. Does it clip back in or? Oh, it doesn't even clip. <laughs> no, it does. Does it? <laughs> oh. All right, Faz, let's take this for a spin. Oh, 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 oh. Drive, stop, stop, stop. Paul, are we going? you got to drive it like it's meant to be driven, mate. Are you driving like it's stolen? <laughs> well, it probably is. No, it's not, guys. <laughs> You're just joking. No, we've got three and a half ton towing capacity, guys. The power on this thing is 140 kilowatts and 450 newton meters of torque. Now, those are all numbers. Let's actually see how it drives. It drives pretty smooth for, you know. I like the steering, very nice and direct. Now, where are we going, Fats? Left or right, mate? All right, let's just go left. Let's go left. I don't feel like I'm in a, like a very large car, which is actually pretty cool. The visibility is great. Um, I like the display. The dash is actually pretty cool and easy to read. It's not like too much is happening. You know when you own those cars and it's so much going on? It's um, just simple. Yeah, Apple CarPlay. Screen's pretty zippy. Works pretty well. No delay. Wired, though. You have to plug it in. No, no wireless Apple CarPlay just as yet. Um, it does, one thing to mention on this car is it has full coil over suspension, coils on all around, so no leaf springs, which does give you a much comfortable, more comfortable ride as well. And speaking about comfortable, you can, uh, the cabin space, there's not much noise. No, it's very nice and silent. I'm sitting in the back seat, guys, yeah. you're wondering where I'm hiding. <laughs> it's a, it's a 2.3 litre twin turbo diesel, and um, well, what did the average they say? What does the factory say? Well, the average factory is? says about 7.9. Alright, now, the, we've asked the owner of this car, and he's, um, best is 8.1 and it averages I think was at 9.6 uh, so depends on how he's driving but the real world's always a bit different isn't it well of course stop start or you go all your you know roundabouts up and down the hills but yeah the seats are great but the STX with the sunroof as well obviously it doesn't affect the drive but quick note and um, yeah uh, one thing to mention as well which you don't get this from any other car well le at least the ones we've done is you've actually got little modes and it actually gives you a tow mode and what it does it actually keeps the revs a bit high so when you are towing it just helps you pull it a bit further without having to you know over rev the engine acceleration's pretty good i can feel it actually like a g-force baller yeah <laughs> all right we're not racing but yeah. visibility is great you've got blind spot monitoring too quick note pretty cool but yeah, you're really enjoying this drive, aren't you? Actually, I love it, man. You know what? It brings me back to my days when I had the Ford Raptor, sitting nice and high. It's actually, you know, I love it. You got to say, I've had, I'm driving at the, I'm driving a Subaru BRZ at the moment. I got to say, I prefer this any day of the week. This is cool as. But um, anything else you want to add, Fads? No, pretty much. I'm impressed overall. I've got enough space, but I wish I had just a little bit more in the back. <laughs> That's about it. No, well, congrats on the owner. It's a beautiful truck. Absolutely love it, mate. But um, yeah, that's it for the drive. We're not doing anything intensive, but you know, just for everyday driving, I'll definitely give it a thumbs up, guys. Just before we cut out, now there's one key feature that I forgot to mention. We're actually low on fuel, so we've got to wrap this up. But 
this car has one feature that all you owners will love. It doesn't have the stop start technology, which a lot of people uh, hate. How cool is that? That is cool, Paula. Did you know? Did you know that? <laughs> all right, guys, that's it for the Navara video. Thanks for watching. We usually enjoy doing these utility vehicles. Yeah, I love them. They're the best. It's actually the first time we've got one of these. We've done a few Tridents. I'm impressed. But this is the first time for we've done price this. price point, it's pretty good. Yeah, very good car, honestly. Like, it reminds me a lot of the Hilux, but cheaper. If I was to say, yeah. give it a comparison, what we haven't done this in a while, one to 10, I'm, I'm about seven and a half. Yeah, I'd probably give it something similar to that. Like, it depends on what you're after. If you want a truck that's just going to basically do the utility stuff that you needed to do and you're not too fussed about the intrinsic little things, it's fine. We'll do the job. We'll do the job. Perfect. Right? But yeah, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and share, guys. I know it sounds a bit like tedious to keep asking, but we really do need those subscribers. So help we us appreciate out. it. You guys have been helping us, and thanks for all the comments, guys. Yeah, we love you all. Till next time. Cheers.